What's up guys, Julian here today, I'm going to be showing you how to make breakbeat tracks. I've been studying this style a lot, this more ravey breakbeat, melodic stuff. Like you heard in the intro of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make what you just heard. As always, you can get the full project files, samples, mini, presets, everything from this video is available at the top of the description on my website. This is one of the best templates from this style I've ever dropped for sure, one of the best ones on the market right now for sure and yeah if you want to take your tracks to the next level today this is something you can do right now i put a lot of time into building these so that you can just immediately get the benefit here and make better music today so link is at the top of the description it also really helps support me thanks guys and let's dive into the video so we're at 135 bpm the first thing we have is actually going to be the break beat <laughs> Now, this is sort of like a really nice, clean, modern breakbeat. And what really makes this up is going to be these main elements here, like the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. Right? And that's just like a steady groove. Almost sounds like some garage, right? We also have this little snare. That just pops in there. Just adding a little bit of rhythm. And so you want to get this really solid and punchy, right? And you can see it's not too complicated. It's not really a lot of over-processing. It's just like nice fat 909 kick. You know, a nice punchy rim shot snare. Punchy shaker. And there's not really even any processing on these. They're just turned up and really full. And then once you have those, then you go and you add in the actual break piece. Right, like those classic jungle. So we got this one and this one. And you see one is really in the high end. And one is really like the mid range. So they're going to fit really well together and kind of create one thing. That's what you're looking for. And then when you put these all together... Now it's going to sit really nice. But you'll notice the kick and snare are still kind of louder than the break beats. Like, even though people always talk about, oh, it's like having these perfect, like, you know, break beat loops and all the samples. You know, really it's like a fat kick and snare and then sitting well on top of that to make it sound really clean and modern. So then we have this bass. So, here's the MIDI for this. We're in the key of C sharp minor. So you can see we're doing like this. Yeah, so it starts with C sharp minor, G sharp minor, A major, F sharp minor, another A major. So, root note, fifth, sixth, fourth, Six, like not that complicated there as you can see and then for the sound here it's actually very simple as well you can see it's just this wave table it's literally just one saw wave and the sub oscillator a bit of unison which I, is only applied to the saw wave the sub oscillator still stays clean there's a low pass on there but you can see it's still letting through a nice amount so you get that nice full mid range and then just a bit of utility converting the bass to mono. And yeah, again, like, this is one of the fattest basses I've probably made on here, but it's super simple. It's just not overdoing that processing and just, like, harnessing the power of those, like, clean, raw, fat saw waves and the sub oscillator and just turning it up. Like <laughs> Alright, so then we have this pad. I know you guys want to know about how to make that lead, so stay till the end. So here's the pad. So Again, we're in the key of C sharp minor, you can see. So here we're doing root note and the fifth. And then it slides up to here. It would be our minor third. Then here it goes down to the sixth. And a sixth up here actually so actually octaves and then we get the fourth up top there 
yeah, this just sits like really well. It's like a nice moving pad where the movement is happening in the synth a bit, right? You can see like such so as saw waves, low pass filter with an LFO. But really, you know, and there's also some chorus and reverb. This auto pan stuff happening to so give it some movement. But really, the movement is happening in the MIDI. Even if this was happening, like all of these notes, the bass line and this were on a piano, you would still have that movement there. And that's why it works well in the track. It's like if you took these three elements, the MIDI. On a piano, it would sound just as cool, but obviously, then the sound design takes it to the next level. So, now we're gonna talk about the lead. So, again, we're in the key of C sharp minor, but what's happening here is it's dancing around, it never really hits C sharp minor. If you look at this, we're really just going between the fifth and the sixth a bunch, right? You can see up here too. So it's like this very dark and evil sounding because of that. But then these minor thirds, right? These E notes up here kind of give it like a different musicality there to kind of be a little bit less like evil and a little bit more tender. Right? Like when that, that minor third hits, it gives you a different feeling. And that's not like, oh yeah, in the music theory book, like, some dude 50 years ago wrote that like this one change from this uh from the third to the root note or from the third to the fifth or something made the song feel like cheerful or something it's like what does it make you feel in the moment right now right like that's what matters more than those music theory rules i think it's just a theory so here for the sound the way we're getting the sound it's a bit of distortion it's a bit of filter stuff so basically what we're starting with here is a square wave, right? It's this basic shapes, square wave, and then we have the pulse width up and the sync is at zero. But if you look at the matrix here, there's an LFO on the pulse width and on the sync. And you can see that moving around. There's also an envelope on those too. So there's a lot of movement happening on them. The other thing that's happening is you can see I have the filter frequency set so it's moving with whichever note you're playing. And what I did was I just turned the resonance all the way up and turned the drive up pretty heavy too. And that's essentially what's creating that sound. You have this filter frequency moving around. I really fine tuned this. Like you got to just sit there and you really don't have it. You can't really do that until you have the notes that it's going to play. That's why I'm saying, like, write that before you do this sound design. Because once you have the notes, this is going to change depending on, like, if this track was, like, this is C sharp minor, right? Let's say we did F sharp minor. I'd have to change this because this is really just tuned for, like, where these notes are going to play. But, yeah, so essentially, like, if I turn the resonance down... See, we lose that like crunchy thing, but the crunchy thing is happening. See how like that gets like when those pulse width and the sync goes up, it sounds like it's almost like bit crushed. That's what's working with that resonance. See, that's what's creating all of that kind of stuff. So we got a bit of unison. And then there's a high pass filter. Now I want to show you, this is what it would sound like, just like straight out of the synth. So that's the thing, you wouldn't even really know what it's going to turn into, but that's why you have to kind of like play around. So then I put this overdrive on here, and you can see it gets us close. But then this final amp here. That's what's really going to like do it, I think. You know, it's that last little bit of distortion to really push it over the edge. We have another high pass after this. Because you want to high pass it going into the distortion so you don't get a lot of money like low end. But then afterwards as well because the distortion would be adding some. Then I have a bit of delay and then just a bit of reverb. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full project files, samples, MIDI, presets, everything from this video is available right at the top of the description on my website. This is the best way that you can instantly, as soon as you download this, take your tracks to the next level today. Don't miss out. It is very affordable. It's available for everybody. And yeah, grab it while it's still there. Thank you so much for the support, guys, and I will see you tomorrow with another video.